Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's the only way you can help me uh, explore, expose my channels to others. And if my videos are very important to your studies, I hope so because I have uploaded so many uh, lecture videos and sample problem videos which will definitely uh, make you become good engineers in the future if you have the patience and time to really explore study my videos. By the method of this work, determine all support reactions. E is constant. So we have here a problem frame without sides way because of the support at the upper part. If you push it horizontally, left or right, then there will be no sides way. The previous examples on frames undergo underwent sides way. So here we go. We select the redundance redundant reactions at A to be our redundant forces. Anyway, we just want to compute for the support reaction. So this will be our sectioning. There will be two sections. Take note that for this column here, we have moment of inertia 2i and for this beam on the i and the length the same. So express in terms of this W parameter so that we will encounter a problem or I also have presented an example where the, the answers results would be in general form. So partial of U with respect to AH equals zero first. There are three redundant, redundant forces. So the moment this section is AH times X plus MA only then the derivative of this moment equation is x dx with respect to ah. Then we divide the entire integral by 2 because the moment of inertia of this portion ab is 2i. Then for the next section, we have plus ah times l plus av times x plus ma minus wx times x over 2 or minus wx square over 2. The derivative is L dx of this moment equation. So simplifying the integral of the first is AH L cube over 6 plus MA L square over 4. I want you to verify that. For the second integral for these three redundant forces, let's evaluate them separately and for this loading. So the integral of the second is AH L cube plus AV L cube over 2 plus MA L square minus WL to the fourth over 6. Since L square is common to all terms, we cancel out L square anyway. We equate it to 0 and reduce it to this equation 7 over 6 L AH plus L over 2 AV plus 5 over 4 MA equals W L square over 6. Call that equation 1. Then next, let's evaluate partial of U with respect to AV. So we copy the moment equation, then replace the partial derivative of that moment equation. Since the first integral is free of AV, so its derivative or differential is 0. For the second part, copy the derivative or differential of this partial derivative of this moment equation with respect to AV is x. So x dx. Replace this by x dx. So ma minus wx square over 2 quantity x dx. So the integral, the first term is 0. The second term would be AH L cube over 2 plus AV L cube over 3 plus MA L square over 2 minus WL to the fourth over 8. So again, the common factor of these four terms here is L square. Divide everything by L square. 
I reduce it to AH L over 2 or L over 2 AH plus L over 3 AV plus 1 half MA equals WL squared over 8. Then that's equation 2. Then third partial derivative of U with respect to MA equals 0. So we copy the integral. This time this is X. This is dx over 2. Then for the second integral, we replace this by just dx. The derivative of this equation with respect to ma is just 1 dx or dx. So the value of the first integral is hl squared over 4 plus ma l over 2. The second integral is h l square plus a v l square over 2 plus m a l minus w l cube over 6. So the common fa factor is l. Divide everything by l. Combined, set up the third equation. So 5 over 4 l a h plus l over 2 a v plus 3 halves m a equals w l square over 6. Call that equation 3. So take note that all these three equations are homogeneous so they have the same power so when solving these three equations simultaneously imagine that l is 1 w is 1 and so that is this is 7 over 6 1 half 5 fourths then 1 6 1 half 1 third 1 half 1 eight. so 5 fourths 1 half 3 halves 1 six. So solving the three equations simultaneously, EH would be negative WL over 12. So uh, it should have a unit of kilonewtons. So that's why WL over 12 moment should be something like WL L square over something. So AV also in that form. So 11 over 24 WL. Then the moment at A is positive WL square over 36. So let's finalize the answer. AH should be rightward, WL over 12. AV is upward, 11 over 24 WL. And MA is WL square over 36. So it is clockwise. And if you do not uh, put the or indicate the direction it is a negative moment supposedly because counterclockwise is positive so I indicate the direction it's clockwise without this direction you should make this negative then for reactions at C let's note these are the reactions then the directions so for CV it is equal to CH, it is equal to AH, so it is leftward because AH is rightward. So WL over 12 leftward. For CV, just summation versus Y, WL minus AV, 11 over 24, so it is 13 over 24 WL upward for C sub V. Then for MC, so M summation moment C equals zero. So M sub C plus M A, which is W L square over thirty six, then plus E H, which is negative in this direction, clockwise also negative uh, W L over twelve times L, then plus A V times L then equals W times L times L over 2. So solving for M sub C, M sub C is positive 7 over 72 WL square, so it is clockwise. But when we report it without the sense, without the direction, then it is negative, supposedly, because positive is counterclockwise. So that's it for this problem.